السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. الله يستر أنتوا ولا إيش؟ you guys fall asleep? still got a long night today's Friday so I'm taking my time. الله المستعان لا إله إلا الله. طيب. so we stopped yesterday on when we had the discussion regards the lesson five of منزلة صيام رمضان. الله خلنا تعبت من النبي ما أدري. هذا دي. You guys can hear me? I have to yell. طيب. Today we have الحكمة من صيام رمضان. Or we can say the ruling of fasting in Ramadan. The hikma is wisdom, but you got, no, you guys can't hear me. Inshallah, make dua for us. We'll improve one day. Inshallah, baby steps. طيب. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Has prescribed us many things, and from the things that he has prescribed us for worship, is it comes from a great, you know, couple of wisdom and complete wisdom from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. And as we said, fasting is an act of worship, correct? And this act of worship, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, makes us to work hard so we can draw closer towards Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala by abstaining from food, drink. And, and other desires, correct? The brothers are outside in the lobby. Like, can somebody do me a favor and tell the guys or the brothers in the lobby to please take it outside and don't linger inside? Is that cool? So as we know that fasting is an act of worship to bring us closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by abstaining from food and drink and other desires. And a person shows sincerity of faith in their complete devotion towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. From the ruling of Siyam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amin, كُتِبَ عَلَيْكُمُ الصِّيَامُ كَمَا كُتِبَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ وَهَذَا إِنَّمَا هُوَ الصِّيَامُ الشَّرْعِ الَّذِي حَافَظَ صَحَابُهُ عَلَيْهِ مِنَ الْمُفْتَرَاءِ So amongst those Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, oh you believe Allah has decreed upon you his fasting and it was decreed upon those before you and that you may become righteous. So what is the point of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ The act of righteousness that we complete and fulfill during Ramadan. So everything that we have been discussing is fulfilling that month of Ramadan. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Ramadan has been decreed and written for you. And the end of the verse is said what? لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ So that you may not leave the month of Ramadan in an act of righteousness. Correct? And among those, among those the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, مِنْ قَوْلِ الزُّورِ وَالْعَمَلُ بِهِ كما قال صلى الله عليه وسلم في حديثه مَنْ لَمْ يَدْعَ قَوْلَ الزُّورِ وَالْعَمَلَ بِهِ فَلَيْسَ لَهُ حَاجَةً so the Prophet said, Amongst the things that we have to be aware of or refrain from is false speech and its actions. Qawl is zur. Walladina, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Al Furqan, Amongst the people whom Ibad al Rahman, the Dina and Shuna Allah, Walladina la yashaduna al zur, wa ida maru bin lavi maru kiram. Amongst the description and the characteristics of the believers, whom are the believers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, the servants who will walk upon this earth in tranquility and peace, he said, وَالَّذِينَ لَا يَشْهَدُونَ الزُّورِ Those who do not, do not testify in false speech. When we're sitting in a gathering, or you're sitting with your friends, someone says something, and because you don't want to make them look bad, yeah, that happened, that's true. But it didn't happen, and that's haram. So in Ramadan, we have to watch out for them. So Allah, the Prophet said, whoever does not give a false speech and acting upon it, Allah has no need for their leaving their food and drink. Meaning you're leaving your food and drinking, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not need it. It has no value in the eyes of Allah if you do not leave the false speech. 
Now, number three, another wisdom of fasting the month of Ramadan is a person devotes their heart to reflection and remembrance and indulging in desires that leads to heedlessness and hardness of the heart. So we have to be aware of certain acts because when we stand in prayer, the person would ask, why do I not feel the khushu'ah from the salah? Why do I not feel khushu'ah in reciting the Qur'an? So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, تَنَاوُلُ الشَّهَوَاتِ يَحْصُلُ بِهَا الْغَفْلَةِ He said, eating food and drinking that is not permissible for you, it's not halal, تَنَاوُلُ بِهَا الْغَفْلَةِ As we said, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, a man will continue to say, يَقُولُ يَا رَبِّ يَا رَبِّ فَلَا يُقْبَلْ دُعَاءُهُ فَأَكْلُهُ حَرَامُ وَشَرَابُهُ حَرَامُ وَلِبَاسُهُ حَرَامُ a person who stands in front of Allah and says, Oh my Lord, Allah, oh Allah, I want this, I want Allah to help me with this. But they're drinking and they're eating is haram. And they're dressing as haram. فَلَا يُقْبَلُ دُعَاءُهُ Their dua is not to be accepted. So when we sit here and we recite Surah Al-Ma'idah, and many people that take Surah Al-Ma'idah say, Surah Al-Ma'idah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, وَفَعَلُوا أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ حِلُّ لَكُمْ The food of the people of the book is halal food. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in a hadith, الحلال بين والحرام بين وبينهما مشتبهات لا يعرفون كثير من الناس The halal is clear and the haram is clear. And there are many similarities and differences not a lot of people understand and know of except the people of knowledge. Now, the continuance of the hadith is وَمَا كَانَ فِيهِ شَكْ Whatever there is doubt in. Are you telling me for sure that when you go out of McDonald's or eating Burger King or you go to Chick-fil-A, you have no doubt whatsoever in that food? I'm sure that you heard from the Imam telling you to be aware of this. So there is some sort of doubt in it. Stay away from it. Whenever there's anything that has some sort of doubt, then it, it is forbidden. Take what your heart is resting assured of. فقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم ما ملء آدمي وعاء شرض من بطن حسب الآدمي لقيمات يقن صلبه فإن غلبت الأدمي نفسه فثلث للطعام وثلث للشراب وثلث لنفسه. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, No human fills a container worse than their stomach. The son of Adam only needs a few bites that would keep their back straight. If they have to, let them divide their stomach into three parts: one for food, one for drinking, and one for oxygen. Now I'll tell you something, I'll tell you a little key. Whenever you seek a certain desirable food or something that you're kind of craving, trust me that's because you're hungry. That's so why I tell you don't go shopping when you're hungry. Or don't go do this when you're hungry. Because when you're hungry, you're ready to take from here and this and this and that. But once you fulfill your stomach, or you fill your stomach up, you don't want to, you don't want to eat anything no more. Try it. So whenever you want to go near the food, I'm not, going, I'm not going to call it the haram, I'm just going to call it the food of shaykh, the food of doubt. Alright? So when you come near those Chick-fil-A or... Uh, Burger King or whatever it is, the food of Shek, eat something. And then after you feel filled, you're like, I don't want to come here no more. Train yourself. So you don't fall into that doubt. So ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us and make us among those who are guided. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the hadith, Inna shaytana yajri min al-insani min najri yiddan. He said, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said the shaytan flows through the human being like blood. What does that mean? That it flows through you like blood? Meaning, you know how your blood just continues through your body? In order for you to continue to, you know, to live and breathe and to send blood to your heart and to your brain and all of that to continue. The shaitan is like that. He breathes, he breathes in your air to make sure that you fall into the haram. He will not give up. He said to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he made a promise. I will make sure to blind each and one of them. إِلَّا عِبَادَكَ مِنْهُمُ الْمُخْلَصِينَ Except the servants of those whom are what is ikhlas? Anyone know what ikhlas is? Sincerity. Al ikhlas is made is the one who does everything to the to the point or maybe to the ad, to the atom of making sure that he pleases Allah subhanahu wa taala. إِرْضِ اللَّهَ قَبْلَ أَنْ تَرْضِ نَفْسَهُ وَعَلَمْ أَنَّ اللَّهَ مُطَلِّعُ عَلَيْهِ Please Allah before you please yourself and know that Allah subhanahu wa taala is upon you and aware of all of your actions. So ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from the evil in our souls and the evil that surrounds us and to make us among those who are guided. And 
to give us the strength to continue our prayer, inshallah.